States involvement uh, in Central America. And it was he who introduced a lot of very famous Spanish songs uh, to the audience here. And it was both wonderful and a shame because Pete had a lousy Spanish accent. <laughs> but as Stephen says, what do you say about that? No, no, no. He's, Stephen this afternoon said, said uh, what Pete Seeger always said about butchering language. Okay? Better to butcher the language than butcher the people. Right. So, Jose Marti, uh, in the story told by Pete, uh, he was a Cuban, but because he was always fighting for freedom from Spain, uh, he, he, he had to go far away from his homeland. He moved uh, to Spain, he, he moved to Mexico, uh, Nicaragua, uh, Manhattan, and as he did, he studied and he wrote. He was uh, a very famous writer of his time, and just about the time of the Spanish-American War, uh, it, it was 1893-1894, he moved back. Uh, to Havana and he sat in his house and he wrote these wonderful uh, uh, essays and articles about Spanish, uh, about time to overthrow the yoke of the Spanish and while we're doing that we should watch out for the other yoke which is about to descend upon us from the United States. And his friend said, uh, this is just great stuff Jose, but you know you're a pen pusher, you want to get outside, get some fresh air and, and you should join us in the battle, join us on the streets and Jose put down his pen and he went outside, and that very day he was killed. And his friend said, whoops. But, it, but Jose Marti died knowing, thinking that he would be remembered for his books about the empire, about fighting the Spanish empire. But I think he's happy to know that, 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 that because of uh, Pete Seeger and other people, he's known today pretty much only for his song, Guantanamera. Sincere man from the land where the palm tree grows. And before I die, I want to thrust out all these verses from my heart. Yo soy un hombre sincero, el donde crece la palma. Yo soy un hombre sincero, el donde crece la palma. Y antes de morirme quiero echar mis versos de la mano. Yo, Marty, Guantanamera, Guajira, Guajira. Wait, 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 just a second, just a second. No, you're not supposed to say Guantanamera like he did. They, Cuba had a revolution and the United States dumped the embargo on them for 50 years and Cuba has run out of all its spare parts, they're running on old Studebakers and they, they have run out of G's and S's and D's too. <laughs> so if you go to Cuba you should bring some down but they get sucked up right away and you'll never see them again so, or hear them. So anyway, one time of error. Let's hear that. One time of error. And don't end your syllable like consonant, end it on the vowel. One time of error. Okay, we'll try it again. Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera, Guantanamera, Guajira, Guantanamera. Sounds good. Oh, oh, compadres, sí, sí, sí. Yo soy de Cuba. This is my friend Billy. Just got off the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, for, for all the, if we don't speak Spanish, he says that for, for, 
for 100 years, as long as they've been singing this song down in Cuba, and they do Guantanamo and then My verse is a uh, clear green. My verse is a uh, flaming crimson. My verse is a wounded deer that seeks refuge in the deep forest. Mi verso es un perro claro y de un carne encendido. Mi verso es de un perro claro y de un carne encendido. Mi verso es un si el herido que busca un monte amado. Oh, cuánta la mera y siga, y siga, cuánta la mera y siga, y siga, cuánta la mera, vaya cuánta la mera. What says, with the poor people of the earth, I want to cast my lot. The mountain stream pleases me more than the sea. And that means the goddess Oshun pleases me more than Yamaya. Con los pobres de la tierra quiero yo mi suerte echar. Con los pobres de la tierra quiero yo mi suerte echar. El arroyo de la tierra 